finale. I know lots of people are saying and guessing that Glenn could bite it, but then again, that doesn't necessarily mean Negan's appearance. He could just get shot in the, in in action by an unknown character or get ripped apart by walkers. But Carol just seems like the most likely candidate to die next. Her and Sasha. I'll get to Sasha in a second, but Carol, it's like, you know, and like I said in my last video, you know, when your solution to fix every problem is to kill somebody, you're not going to last too much longer in this world. Yes, that way of thinking and that rationale applies to living out there in the wild, in the wilderness, you know, when you're when you're truly and really surviving. But when you're living in something that is supposed to be the beginning of a new society or civilization, you can't just say, oh, there's a problem with this guy? Let's just kill him. Oh, he's uh, Pete's abusing his wife? Oh, well, we have to kill him. You know, I don't, th I don't know how long somebody with that kind of attitude and mentality could last in a safe zone like that, in a place like that. Now, her attitude and mentality may have absolutely nothing to do with it. She could just get caught in the crossfire and have a tragic death scene like so many other characters in the past on the show. So that could be it too. But, you know, she's a main character. She's been on for a really, really long time. And even Robert Kirkman has said, it's like, I like to let these characters ripen like fruit. And when the time is right, you pick the fruit, meaning that you kill the character off. Now, that's what he says about the comic book characters. I don't know if that necessarily applies to the TV characters, but it very well could. So hopefully it doesn't come true, but unfortunately it might be possible. So uh, Carol might be the next one to might be one of many who will bite a bullet in the season finale. I have a feeling we're going to lose uh, a couple of people from Alexandria, secondary characters who have no names or lines, but casualties nonetheless. Oh, walkers are always dying, but that's no big loss because they're walkers and they're dead already. And I think it's going to, you know, and I think another a couple other casualty possibilities would be Sasha because she is becoming reckless and unhinged and is, you know, losing touch with reality. Either she will intentionally make a sacrificial move to save someone or uh, try to save herself and end up getting killed in the process, whether it be by walkers or humans. And then she'll die in a tragic uh, death scene as well. So it's really, really hard to say. But Sasha is another likely candidate for me. I'm just going to throw that out there. The next possible candidate, and it would be easier to kill her off because she's kind of, she's very underdeveloped and we hardly know anything about her. Although there's a part of her that kind of intrigues us saying, what's your deal? What are you about? What are you up to? Is Carl's new little friend, Enid, the girl that he got stuck in the tree with. And so it's just because it's like, oh, they're having a sweet and tender moment in the tree or they're bonding. They're becoming friends or they're becoming boy boyfriend, girlfriend. And then all of a sudden, bang, she takes a hit to the head. You know, she's shot in the head or shot in the throat and blood's everywhere. Or she's attacked and ripped apart by walkers. So, you know, whenever you see something like that on The Walking Dead, you see that human connection and um, a new relationship beginning. Sometimes it actually is the beginning of something, and sometimes they're just setting up that character to get killed off. So I think it would be really tragic for Carl to lose a friend, a character who is like the closest uh, to his age to who, that he's ever uh, been friends with besides Beth and Noah, or, Noah, who are both slightly older than him, both of whom are now dead. And I think it'd be a real loss and a heavy hit for Carl to lose this girl that even if he wasn't romantically, you know, uh, linked to her, you know, she was still a friend or, you know, like a close neighbor and he would still be sad to see her go. And that would be, you know, that's tragedy right there. You have that has tragedy written all over it. So it's very, very likely that Enid could bite it. But at the same time, they could surprise us because this is The Walking Dead. Now, another thing that could happen is that, um, you know, because uh, Michael Kudlitz, uh, Abraham, says that this is going to piss off a lot of people. And the reason why I think it might is because, you know, they'll either kill Daryl or Carol and most likely Carol. And that's going to piss people off because since the begin, well, since season two, 
fans have been screaming at Carol and Daryl to finally hook up and become a romantically involved couple, just get it over with. And the fact that it still hasn't happened yet, and then that they might kill her off, will probably piss off a lot of people. And Carol, especially since season four, has become a huge popular main character on the show and kind of like with Tyrese's death I think it's gonna you know hit a lot of people really hard if they do that so when Michael Kudlitz says piss off people that might be what he's referring to now there is one other possibility that's you know uh very very likely because we know what happens to her in the comics but it's hard to imagine like fit like actually picturing like physically visualizing how they could get away with it on TV would be Judith. Now that sounds brutal and very, very harsh, but unfortunately it does, it, it happens in the comics. And I was a little surprised that they didn't do it in season four. Not that I'm complaining, but it's like the way they did it in season four, like made you guess and try to figure out, is she alive? Did someone save her or is she dead? Was she eaten by walkers during the prison attack? And they reveal that Tyrese saved her, obviously. But in the comics, during the governor's attack, Lori, who has survived childbirth successfully and is caring for Judith, is running across the courtyard when the governor shoots Lori through the back, uh, causing Lori to fall forward, collapse on top of poor baby Judith, crushing the baby to death. And Lori, of course, is shot through the chest, right through the heart. And then one of the governor's soldiers, this woman, is like, you just shot a woman and her baby. And the governor, who's flat out insane by that point, is like, oh, I did that. Oh, shit, my bad. And then the woman shoots him dead. So, But anyway, uh, so that's how Judith dies in the comics. Now, how could they get away with it on a show without showing it? Well, the obvious answer is you could just show her in a vulnerable situation where she's either surrounded by walkers or she's stuck in the middle of crossfire and we don't see anything but it's obviously heavily implied that she is dead because you can just watch from people's like the other characters her at reactions to horror and like just being terrified of watching a baby either get shot by accident or intentionally or getting ripped apart and eaten alive by walkers you could just see people's face and just collapse like oh Oh, oh, oh. You know, so we could see like Rick and Carl and a few other characters do that. And it's heavily implied that, you know, we know what's happening to Judith. So there is that. But, uh, you know, it's hard to say, you know, and I, I think overall what's going to happen is that when uh, Deanna and the people of Alexandria are trying to determine the fate of uh, Rick, whether to exile him and exile his entire group or possibly just him. You know, right before any official decisions can be made, Daryl and Aaron appear after escaping the wolves, you know, seeing what kind of people they are and what they're after. They make it back to Alexandria. Daryl and Aaron are like, we got to prepare for attack. The wolves are coming. The wolves are coming. And it forces Rick's people and the people of Alexandria to team up to defend the town from the wolves. And an all out battle occurs between the two groups with casualties on both sides. Or maybe the wolves only have a few minutes of screen time and they're quickly all killed off, kind of like last season when Rick, Michonne, and Daryl killed the marauders who ambushed uh, them on their way to Terminus. And they could just kill them off really fast. And maybe the huge, the what's going to make the season finale so big is that a massive walker herd will just simply attack Alexandria and either bring down the f walls and fences or just... Uh, you know, dent them in really bad, but the Rick and the people of Alexandria fight back, or but they still have lots and lots of casualties. So who knows? It's really, really hard to say. But otherwise, I'm both excited and terrified for the season finale, and rest assured, I will definitely have a big recap review video up that night, right after it airs, uh, sharing my thoughts, reactions, and opinions, and what I think it might happen in Season 6. So once again, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please feel free to subscribe, and uh, feel free to comment, like, and um, below down below. Let's try to keep it respectful of one, one, bleh, one another's opinions. And uh, if you feel like I missed anything, or if you have any thoughts or ideas or theories of your own, please feel free to share. I'm always willing to hear new opinions and ideas.